Now then some people said that was a problem, right? Like, you're bringing the atmosphere down, you're getting negative. So then, you know, I upheld the mantra, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And then once I did that, it became, why aren't you saying anything? We love it when you say your mind. And then I go back to saying my mind and they're like, you're bringing the atmosphere down. I'm gonna need you to tone it down. I'm like, there's no winning. Do you want me to talk or not talk? Like, what is it? Well, what we want is for you to be the perfect human being. Good observation. Thank you. Systems compromised. I'm better. I'm dead. Water, back by they rest. That's Pog. I'm burning to death. Yeah, he's on fire. Wait, I had shot Mercy and she didn't die, that's cringe. I lit him on fire. Nice. Very good. Dante? Yeah. Why is your name Michael? Michael? Oh, the king. King Michael. You don't sound like a king right now. happen if sure for try harder and ranked uh absolutely nothing because dps is the least impactful role in the game now if i try hard as flex support god damn the things i can do um this might be a reset with how many dead people we have oh we do yeah we do i have bob soon Never mind, we don't win. Because I'm dead. Adjusting angle of attack. Finishing them off. Ten seconds to change things up. The payload has reached the checkpoint. See, being sarcastic about DPS? No. DPS is single handedly the least impactful role in Overwatch. The only thing you can do as DPS is hit your shots. But, for example, if the enemy team is not giving you shots to hit, and you're not hitting every single shot, then your impactfulness is very small. But, for example, you have a Ball, who has effectively 1200 HP, Sigma, who can take off angles with a self shield, a stun and a shit ton of damage. Uh, supports are probably one of the most impactful because supports are the ones that 
let people be stronger, let people have more effective HP. Anna, for example, literally has a sleep and an anti, making it so the other team can't be as effective. Well, as Ash, I just have Lalmithro Dynamite. Boom. Haha, you on fire. But for example, the difference between a good flex support and a bad flex support is palpable. Like Zen, for example, if there's a Zen that's discording the wrong targets, then you're not getting as effective damage and making it so their ball isn't as being aggressive. If they're not harmony orbing the right person, then some person's not allowed to take as aggressive angles because they're not getting enough heals. Whereas if the enemy Zen is uh, discording the ball and your Zen isn't, then their ball is going to be... Well, well, their ball is going to be scary. Like, look at... He literally just walks up. I use an ultimate and he just walks away. Now, some people be, might be like, well, that's not true. Tracer is one of the most oppressive DPS in the game. And then I'd be like, yeah, she also has 150 HP. For example, the only reason I even killed that Mercy is because pretty much let me kill them. It's the same thing where a lot of people complain about Widowmaker. Where they're like, well, if you just go Widowmaker and you shoot everyone in the head, you're very effective, lol, well, because like it's a one shot kill. Well, most people that die to Widowmaker are trash because they just walk into our angles and not think. They're like, oh, let me walk around this corner. Oh, shot in the head. That's per Why can't I just walk around the corner for free? How many headshots do I need on these fucks? Uh I died. Oh, th that's another example of how tanks are better. This guy presses one button and it's a hundred damage. Like, uh, one button. That's why Goats was good. I mean, Goats was good if you like playing like a worse version of Dota 2. That's the word you want to use. Oppressive heroes are unenjoyable to plague against, especially for bad players. Where am I? Ah! Ah! They are getting on my nerves. Ooh, a character who can only be contested out of her range by mirror matching is not broken. Hmm. Mr. Saucer people, what rank are you?
I just need a little prefacing. Why? Saucer people literally pause champed themselves and then didn't even say what rank they were. What? Where am I? See that that right there is an example of the type of person that like writes shit in competitive Overwatch subreddit. They just like type shit on their keyboard, but like don't understand why they're typing it. Now let me break down what he said earlier, because he's too afraid to say his rank. So he said, imagine thinking that a character that can't be countered because their range isn't broken. Alright, so what do we have that can counter Widowmaker's range? Uh, we have walls, for example, where she can't shoot through. Uh, we have Ball, Monkey, Tracer, Genji, who can get close to her and assassinate her. And Ball, mind you, is uh, about... 12,000 HP, effectively. Uh, we have copious and copious amounts of shields, as we like to call it in Shield Watch, that you can also stand behind that she cannot shoot through. You have supports that can one-shot her from range, like Zen, with a full volley right-click. You have Annas who can sometimes out-snipe her. Uh, not to mention all the other DPS heroes that can get around her quickly. Or just having a Widowmaker yourself. So, let's break that down again. We have map geography. We have a bunch of tank and DPS heroes. Uh, we have a support counterplay. Owie. That was not in the plan. Oh. Taking off. But, like I said, Widow is on a fun to play against because she's oppressive. Because now, instead of just walking around the corner without worrying about getting shot in the head, now you have to worry about map geography and the Widow's positioning. So you don't get one shot in the head. But many players like just zug zugging and not using their brains because, you know, the Overwatch community proves many a times that they don't have brains. So that makes Widow unfun to play against because you can't just zug zug. Genesis. 
healing the mines. Okay, I'm just gonna not go over there. Wait, there's this. Okay, I got you, bro. Merchy one! Why would you want money? Well, for example, when was the last time you saw me do a sponsor stream? Exactly. They're surviving with like two HP. It's crazy. Wow, that first shot didn't hit. If that first hot shot hit the mercy, that would have been Omega Poggers. Uh, for some reason. Uh, for some reason, I thought I turned around or something. Yo, you got the Glock, bro? Uh. Kill God is goaded. Oh, 6 1. He burnt to death. Yo, if you res me, I got Bob. Well, shit. You get me riled up. Haven't had enough. With the universe. The payload has reached the checkpoint. Point seven. My ultimate is all. I'm like behind enemy lines right now. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm waiting for you guys to get back and then I'm gonna hit him with a flank, bro. That's not good. Can you res that? That's good. That's not good. What the? Sure for is chips a good? How about here, little 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 boy in Twitch chat? How about you use your own brain and you analyze his gameplay, and in your own mind you decide, is he good? Instead of going, well, Surefoot told me he's bad, so now I'm gonna think he's bad. So you think he's bad, lol? Right. That's the conclusion you come towards with the words that came out of my mouth. Go. And that is not how I should use a platform. Ouch, so we're just random people to you? By pure definition, you are technically random people to me.
They are getting on my nerves. Hey there. A payload in motion. This zebra guy is, uh, I'm about to ban him because, like, the next thing I see them type out is, guys, we are random people to all streamers. They don't actually care about us at all. I don't know how you guys go to these such extremes through the simple things I say, but, like, god damn. Just because you are called a random person doesn't mean I don't care about your existence. It just means there's no way I could effectively know you as a person with all the other people here. Well, shit. 